This story happened when I was only around nine years old. We lived in a basic two-story house in a very small village with only about a hundred people. Every year, on the 4th of July, our village had the fireworks show and all the people went to the community park to watch it together. But I couldn't go that year because I had just recently broken my arm and the doctor told me not to go to any public places for about a week, which I was really bummed about. Just to give you a basic layout of our house, our living room was connected to our front door. If you keep walking forward, you would have got into the kitchen, take a left from there and that's where my room was on the first floor. Anyway, when it was about 8 o'clock p.m., all of my family went to the park. I was in the living room and started watching some cartoons. About half an hour had passed. I was getting tired, so I turned off the TV and went to my bedroom. I took off my glasses and started to doze off soon. I was almost asleep when I heard the front doorknob turning. I thought it was my family getting back from the park. So I got up and looked out of my room. I hadn't put my glasses back on so everything was a bit blurry. But I could see clearly that there was only one person in the window. Seeing that not everybody was in front of the door, I felt a little scared, so I shut my bedroom's door and went back to my bed. But then, I heard the door open and then close. I immediately noticed that I didn't lock the door which my mom had asked me to do before she left. I wanted to punch myself. Then, I heard a faint voice say, Hello, is anybody home? I have some candy. I can give it to you if you want. Just come out of the room that you're in. I quickly got off my bed and hid under it. I tried to be as quiet as possible, but because of my arm, it hurt so bad that I started crying. At the time, I didn't have a cell phone, so it was impossible to call the police. The man was walking towards the kitchen. Soon, he opened my room's door, and I covered my mouth to not make any noises. I saw the man walk up to my bed and stop. He leaned all the way down slowly, and then I saw his face. He had chapped lips and a really scruffy chin, and he was smiling. My heart dropped. I hit my arm on my bed frame when he grabbed me out from under my bed. And next, he made me stand up. He said, Why don't you come with me? I have lots of candy at my house. Which made me so scared. I couldn't move or say anything but just cried while he stared at my face. He then picked me up and started carrying me outside. I kicked and screamed. He tried to get in the white van. He tried to open the door and I managed to fall loose and landed right on my back in the grass. I got up as quick as I could and made a run all the way to the park. I found my family and told them everything that just happened to me while crying. My dad called the police as we got in the car to go to the hospital since I felt so much pain in my arm. All that I remember was I had woken up in a hospital bed with a different colored cast on my arm. After that, we got home and the police were still there. They caught the man under my bed. They said that he was probably waiting for me to come back home. He actually had a criminal record of pedophilia, sexual assault, rape, and murder. The police said that he had escaped two days ago and they've been looking for him since. My family has moved to a bigger town since then. I hate to think about what might have happened if I wasn't able to get loose of his grip. But it comes to my mind every day.